Hello, this is Lenora with the Love and Live Show. Queen Lenora, it is. Yes. Okay, you're seeing me in the morning because I just woke up, took my little hair thing out. Have not done my hair because I just wanted to tell you this right now. We're talking about relationships, all different types of relationships, quick relationships, fast, long, slow. I don't care. Just relationships of how you need to analyze those relationships. So your first way to analyze a relationship is Yahweh, the creator, first. You, yourself, first. You have to love yourself, and you have to learn to forgive yourself. You have to give yourself just 100% of forgiveness, like you want to do everybody else. I always tell my kids, give 100% in everything you do. That's the first thing. So Yahweh, yourself, then your spouse. If you're married, you, it's you. After you, it's you and your spouse because you are as one. So how people are easy to get divorced and quick to get married, easy to get divorced. You need to think about a divorce as if I get a divorce, it's like cutting a limb. If you're right-handed, it's like cutting your right arm off. That's how it should be because you guys are as one. And it should not be easy to break up. Just like you have kids, you don't know, just toss them to, I don't want you no more. I don't need you no more. No. You love your kids, and you, no matter how much they give you hell, you're there for them. The same with your spouse. You got to learn. You're not going to always be in love with that person at that moment. You're not going to always like them. You're going to go through some phases because that person is going to challenge you in some areas that you're not wanting to be challenging. So you want to remember that, okay? So you got Yahweh yourself, your spouse. Then trickles down to your kids. So your kids will see a healthy relationship, a loving relationship, an honest relationship. And also then they can understand that your love is not tied up in emotions of I'm mad at my husband or I'm mad at myself. And they get that grunt of that. They get the uh, emotion. Because there's so many positive things. I've been married for a while. And I'm going to tell you, in my marriage, we've been through so much ups and downs. Even when I had low self-esteem. And I didn't have low self-esteem since I was like eight in eighth grade. And I went through a low self-esteem. And it affected my kids. So now that I've been back to getting myself together and, and, and getting out of my low self-esteem, my kids are now, you can see the difference in their behavior. So you, if you wonder if your kids can see, yeah, so there's a lot of war fighting in the family. You might need to go on a retreat with your husband or your wife. Okay, we need to work this out and we can't do this with the kids, so we're going to go on a retreat. So you find daycare for them for a week and you go on a retreat for a week. And you guys start over figuring out what you love about each other, what what major relationship, what it is, what made it break and figure out the honest truth and deal with the honesty. Don't tell the other person that their feeling is not their feeling or you felt that wrong. Maybe it's delivery. And I was a queen of doing wrong delivery. I'll tell you that. So that is it. So you have Yahweh, yourself, your spouse, your kids, and then whatever else you want to put orders of family, friends, relationship with other people, and then work and then education all those things because you get married you should already have education say oh well, I'm not married well what am I supposed to do now well you go Yahweh yourself if you have kids then your kids then trickle down your household should be always taken care of so even if you say okay I got Yahweh spouse kids and animals your animals is right up to the kids <laughs> everything needs to trickle down with this relationship, because the relationship is affected by everything that goes on in the household. So if the household is not smooth, the relationships in the household is not smooth. And you can tell, like, when you go to certain people's house, you're like, ooh, I don't know. I can go over there. Someone's not right about the household because it's not in alignment of where it needs. Our household is chaotic. We yell, scream, we fuss and fight. Kids argue, fight, and all that. But when you come in, you feel love and welcome because the house is full of love and it's welcoming. And it's 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 because the way we treat each other. So you want to keep those in the areas that it is. So, again, so what we say, we got Yahweh, Badoo, yourself, do-do-do, your spouse, do-do-do, do-do. Your kids, do do do. And it's sometimes you gotta really be careful because sometimes people get married and I already have kids. And then they have to do a blended family and they have to do all those different stuff. 
don't get married or move somebody in your house that you're not going to trust with your kids wholeheartedly. If you're not going to trust their discipline and their thing and you might think they're too strict, then don't bring them into your household. Do not bring them and don't marry them. Because then it's going to be hard for you to do the guidelines of Yahweh yourself and your spouse and your kids. Because the kids came before the spouse. You know what I mean? So you have to really trust. Because regardless if that's going to be a healthy relationship and a healthy marriage, they still come before the kids. Because once you get married, you're joined as one. It isn't once you have kids, you join as one. Once you get married, you join as one. So don't begin somebody and be like, I don't really trust them with my kids. Okay, well, maybe you shouldn't marry that person. And why is that person living with you? Those are things that you need to keep in mind. Of. I got to fix this here. It is, don't look as cute as it is because I am going through some things. I woke up this morning and I had to tell you that relationship and marriage is a partnership. It's everything. Even your friendship is a partnership. It's a relationship. Business partners, the same. It is so important to be able to listen to each other, understand each other. And it's so important to let that person know, hmm, I don't agree with you. You're going to have to explain until I agree. Or we're going to have to agree to not disagree. And we're going to have to give each other each a moment to work out our issues. Um, as a business owner, there's a lot of times I go to the business people and I go, my business partners, and I go, okay, this is what I'm doing. They'll tell me no. And then I'll be like, well, huh, I still think it's going to work. So I'm going to do it, and it's going to be out of my money. And if it works, ta-da. If it doesn't, it's out of my money. You know, I have to do things like that. In my marriage, like, when me and my husband don't get along about something, I make sure we talk about it. And I'm like, I need to know how you feel. Don't not tell me how you feel because then if you don't tell me, then I can't fix my problem. Because right now I'm not seeing why you're angry. And you're not seeing why I'm confused. Because it might seem simple to you why I'm confused. And I'm like... I'm angry because you're not making no dang sense in my head. We need to have that understanding because we were raised totally different. And even if we were raised in the same household, you're going to come out with different philosophies. Like brothers and sisters, and I say it all the time, they're not usually exactly the same. They all got different opinions, different ways they view their household and everything else is totally different. So remember that. That it's all right to be in a disagreement with people that you love. But try your best to understand their point of view. Try to understand or explain it so they can understand what you're feeling. And it's all right. So remember, when it comes to relationships, it's not an easy task. And marriage is like the hardest task. And I always tell people when you get married, do you know you're inviting other demons into your relationship the moment you get married? So be prepared for those demons. They coming for you. You think you was dealing with some demons over here when you were dating? Oh, no, no. You think you were dealing with de demons when y'all got engaged? Oh, no, no. These demons, when you get married, do not play. And they work well together. So you must work well with your partner. So remember, marriage is a wonderful thing. But it's not meant for divorce. And I've been divorced. Got married, got divorced, got married again, and we're almost on our 20th anniversary. So, Lord knows I've been there. So, I'm saying it's a connection that you don't want to lose. It hurt me to get my first divorce, and we weren't even married that long. It hurts so bad. So, I understand if you had to get a divorce. But sometimes we getting out of divorce, we getting out of marriages faster than Realizing that if we stick, that it might be a lesson and a blessing at the same time. So remember that. Remember the tears of your relationship, how they go. Remember that because it's very important. Have a blessed day. And remember to love and live each day as if it was your last. Have a blessed and happy day.